It is April 4th. It is late Easter Sunday night. Yes. And today, tonight, we are headed to the hospital to have our baby. Oh my God. <laughs> Hopefully, crossing fingers, we still have to call at 9 p.m. Yes, yes. And they should tell us if we could go in at 10. Yes, obviously we still have to do that. So I'm a little nervous because they could obviously say like, no, not yet. Could be a few hours, call tomorrow. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But either way, we're going to the hospital eventually <laughs> and we're going to have this baby and I just can't believe it. It's actually time for my induction. I'm actually getting induced. Oh my God. And we're not coming home back to this house. Without our baby. Without a baby. That's insane. We have all our stuff packed. And we're ready to go. I just hope they let us go to the hospital. Just they will. They will. I hope so. We're gonna we're gonna have good vibes. Good <laughs> vibes. I don't know what else to say to you guys other than we're having our baby. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'll start packing the car right now. Yeah. Let's do this, okay? Yeah. Okay, so our induction got a little bit delayed. It is three AM, three thirty. Three thirty, yeah. We called that twelve to see if they had a rubble. They yeah. still didn't, so But now they do. They called us back and and I've never been so excited to wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, so we are leaving, and I'm going to say bye to Cece no, right Cece, now. Cece, don't drink a lot of water. Come here. Shh. You're not leaving with us. <laughs> we are going to miss you, but Jimmy's here in the room, and we're going to see you soon, okay? Is that okay with you? She's like, no. Is that okay? Is it okay? I want to go. Let's go to the hospital so we can have a baby. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to bring this just in case. Okay, we are officially checked in. <sighs> it's been a process. It's already, my goodness, what time is it? It's already 5. 5.15 a.m. I got my IV though. I'm gonna be taking my Cytotec soon. I'm one centimeter dilated, which is great improvement to me because I was zero centimeters a few days ago. Yeah, from Thursday to today, you will you I went to one. From zero to one. <laughs> and I'm already having, I've been having consistent contractions. They just aren't like super painful. So hopefully the Cytotech helps and I'm just really excited to be here. My nurses are really nice. So it's been super awesome so far. <sighs> I'm getting excited and nervous, but I'm excited. Having this baby. It's a moment. Carlos tore his pants. Oh, oh, oh I, you already changed. No, I changed them. <laughs> the big pants. one on this pants. I, w I went into the car and I lifted my leg and then swing. <laughs> like, no. All right, just take my cytotech and now we wait. See if anything happens. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm, just, I'm attached to so many things. I know. I want to yeah. get up, but I got like four yes. things. <laughs> I got three things. I got these NST monitors. Got an IV right here. I got a blood pressure cuff. Getting up is like not that easy. Tired? I'm not tired, but I am gonna try to rest for a little bit before things kick up a bit. And we got four hours to see how this cytotech goes, so. Yeah, so I'll try to sleep for at least two of those four hours. <laughs> well, what do you think of my setup? <laughs> <laughs> do I look like I brought my whole house with me? Yeah, I gave her my pillow too. It took everything. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable, I'm attached to so much stuff, and I'm still not comfortable, I'm still. You need your pregnancy pillow. Yeah, I, I need my whole bed. Yeah, definitely bring your own pillows, guys. And anything you need to be comfortable, especially if you're gonna like be here for a while. Cause I'm already like freaking out that I'm gonna be here for a while and I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's even happening yet. <sighs> it's okay. You look comfortable. I don't know, though, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's breakfast time for Cassie. Yep, luckily I get to eat while I take the Cytotech. I have been contracting a lot. Um, so they won't let me take another cytotech until they kind of space out a little bit because it's almost like too much. Um, they're only a little bit painful though. I'm going to try the breakfast now. <laughs> Not that bad. I can eat that. Hospital food. Yeah, it's hospital good? food. But I need to eat because they won't let me eat eventually. So I might as well eat now while I can. All right. Not out yet. It's only 11.15. Want to update him? Did you think he'd be out right now? No. I knew he wasn't going to be out. <laughs> So I'm having a lot of contractions. Um, they're really close together, so they won't give me Cytotec again. I don't know if I already told you guys that. Um, you progress a little bit? I progress a little bit, but not really like that much to be like, oh, the Cytotec's working. So I'm 60% faced. I'm one thing more dilated, but she thinks that her fingers are big. So like maybe I'm a little bit more. Um, we're basically just gonna give it to like noon and go from there. I'm going to try to stand up and walk around a little bit. I'm really uncomfortable. 
we're hanging in there. Okay, we're still waiting. It is 1.30, so we've only been here since what? Was it 4 o'clock? 4 a.m. Yeah. 4 a.m. till 2.30, so not that long yet. And Cassie, she has to lay down in this position for 45 minutes. Yep, I just got Cervidil placed because the Cytotec didn't really help me progress that much. It just gave me like a lot of contractions. So now I have Cervidil placed and this one takes a while. So we're gonna be just hanging out, I think. I think this baby's hanging out until at least Tuesday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's coming today. But it's just been a little bit tough. Yeah. But. So I should take this time, take a nap, rest up. You have a long night, I think. It's okay. Oh yeah. It's okay though. Every, every. He'll be here before eleven. <laughs> That's your guess. Eleven p.m. before yeah. eleven today. Well, I just know that every step we take, every contraction, is just one step closer to baby. So I'm gonna keep thinking about that while I lay here. <laughs> okay, it is five thirty now. It's been past twelve hours that we've been here at the hospital. Cassie's still doing good. The baby's still doing good. Cassie did have some. Um, Cassie did have some back pain earlier. I'm still having. Oh, really She's still bad, having. Really bad back it's, labor. It's right it now. It's worse before. It's getting better now. Right now, what we're doing is I'm on my side, <laughs> and we're thinking maybe he's sunny side up. That's why the back labor is so bad. Um. So we're gonna sit like this for a while, and then my contractions are way too close. So if they stay this close, then we'll have to take out the cervical. All right, guys, it's seven o'clock, seven p.m. already, and Cassie is at three centimeters. Three we are d making some progress here. Yep. Oh, she is. <laughs> I'm just here for support. <laughs> three centimeters. I'm really shaky, but it's mostly just uh, panic. <laughs> um, hmm, I did get the epidural because the pain was unbearable. So hopefully now my body will start to progress more with me like more relaxed. I was just so tense from the back pain and all that. So I feel better now and hopefully we can get things going and probably start on Pitocin because I'm at three centimeters. Yeah. Also, now I'm starting to rethink that he's going to be here today. I'm thinking he's going to be here tomorrow <laughs> on April 6th. So. Uh, well, the way it's just progressing, it's not... It's a slow process. Yeah. So we are not having one of those fast in and out labors. It's a slow process. So, now I'm going to change my mind to April 6th, not April 5th or more. Ah. It's almost 11. Cassie finally fell asleep. I don't think anything's gonna happen today. Until tomorrow, so. Just gonna let Cassie rest, and I might as well she'll take a nap also. And hopefully everything goes well. Oh, oh guess who's awake? <laughs> almost 12 o'clock. Slept a little bit, and I'm four centimeters. Almost halfway, guys. It's been a long night, but. <laughs> I'm doing good now. I'm really happy. So now you gotta go back to sleep. Yeah, I mean, I was like, what do I do now? Like, what do I just keep sleeping? I mean, I'm basically just, you know, in bed now, waiting until I'm fully dilated. I'm so itchy, though. Oh, and I will be starting Pitocin now. So a very, very low dose. My body reacts. I'm very sensitive to the medications we learned. Very, very sensitive. So we're gonna give me a very, very low dose of Pitocin. Hmm. And hopefully that progresses more. And Jackson's still not ready to come out. He's floating around in there all good. It's very comfortable. He's still swimming in there. Okay, it's Tuesday, almost 7 a.m. 7 a.m. We get up in the morning. I don't think either of us got much sleep. I think Cassie got that sleep than I did. <laughs> um, yeah, I did not do that great because we were just tossing and turning a lot, trying to get but baby to engage. Good but news. 
Your water broke. My water broke. Well, they broke it. They broke my water and it gushed everywhere. And so now we're going to see if things progress from there. Right. You did have a lot of fluid. It was just. It still is. Just. Like, it's crazy, guys. All right. And the baby's still inside. <laughs> he doesn't want to come out. Yep. We are on our. Let's see. It is. Four. Eight. So. We're on our. 30 of being at the hospital. I'd, I'd say hour 28th of being in labor. And there's no baby still. And he is taking his sweet time. So I think we're going to go ahead and end this labor vlog. And the next one you guys will see will be the actual delivery of the baby, obviously. And I'm shaking. Maybe Carlos should hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Cassie wanted to hold the camera. She said she misses it. <laughs> I just, I'm super shaky, though. But it just has to do with the epidural on my nerves. Um, Anyways, so we're going to end this vlog. The next one you guys will see will be the real deal. Promise. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully today still. <laughs> I know for sure he'll be here today. Just don't know when. One way or another, he kind of has to come out today. Anyways, so we're going to end today's vlog. Hope you guys liked it. Did smash that thumbs up button. All the well wishes below. <laughs> um, make sure you guys are following us on Instagram. If you guys probably actually want to see him, he's, he's probably already on our Instagrams. Mm -hmm. and stay tuned for his birthday vlog. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.